All right, my name is Simba Elijah Charles Kiag. This morning, you can actually find us live on Facebook, Metropole TV Kenya, Twitter at Metropole TV Kenya, YouTube, Metropole TV Kenya. Talk to us, write to us. Good. I'm calling this day the end to the wake camp regime. <clears throat> Are you waking up? Before you take a bank loan, therefore, I urge you to look around, study, survey the banks that are giving you that facility, get the cheapest, and then take it. Because that's exactly what it is, right? It's not uniform. Thank you very much. Away from that, though, we want to understand the diaspora, issues around that area, and how it affects the top four agenda. Now, you do know that the government is actually riding on that agenda, and I say that for the next three years, but more specifically for the next two budgetary cycles. Good. So how do we, therefore, understand the role that the diaspora actually plays into that? This morning, our guest today has a long CV. I'm not going to get into the CV because it might take us five minutes and we only have ten minutes for the show this morning. I'm just going to introduce him as Dr. FCPA Rosemary Gituma. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Araija. It's your first time and I know we're going to have you more and more, isn't it? Thank you. All right. Looking Happy forward. to have you around here. Thank you. I just want us to start from the basic of the most levels. When it comes to understanding the diaspora and its effect on the big four agenda, how should we look at it? What, how does it relate to the big four agenda? Yeah, thank you, Raja, for yes. inviting me to this uh, talk or this conversation. Actually, like the way you have put it, uh, the, the synergy. Yes. which diaspora is supposed to provide as far as the big four agenda is concerned mm -hmm. is very very key because when you look at that uh, agenda four yes. you know the four areas like as we know them yes obviously for you to engage and for you to execute yes and then to roll out and even keep on tracking there are things that almost are obvious which are like the skills that are required. Yes. And even to to unpack and even to to, to to even input. So these are some of the things we know the the Kenyans who have lived there in those uh, economies. Yes. Over time they have become very resourceful. Yes. They have acquired those skills. They have actually interacted personally yes. with some of those areas, like the healthcare the universal health care, like we know it, you will find like most of the countries, especially in the West, yes. like UK, Canada, you know, those are the things that they have. So the diaspora community that is already living there, those are the things that they're interacting with. Yes. So as you are saying, in terms of uh, rolling out, so there is synergy that now needs to be brought by the diaspora. Yes. Yes. And so I just want us to tackle them step by step when yes. we talk about it this morning. So how, therefore, should the economy leverage on the diaspora, therefore, to push for this big four agenda? Uh, Eraja, again, as you recall, yes. especially like recent, as recent as during the Masujade, the His Excellency, the President himself, actually acknowledged the role of the diaspora. And uh, he actually talked about the diaspora as Masuja, yes. as actually the first ambassadors yes. of this country, you know, out there in those, uh, in, in those countries. So now, when you, when you look at that, uh, obviously, like you have just uh, rightly put it, if, for example, I can even, you can even look at, you know, each of those, uh, you know, the big four, yes. the big four agendas. Yes. You, you realize that, just like I've said, we are looking at uh, people who are equipped. And uh, in terms of even what the diaspora we know, you know, like what the diaspora brings to this economy, yes. we always talk about remittances. 
So when those remittances are here, like if you look at even the, the data that yes. we have now, mm -hmm. you hear Central Bank talk about you know remittances of the dash for remittances yes, are now two point yes. seven billion. billion. And I know this time around we're we're having them at a record high. Yes, yes, record high. Yes. So now you ask yourself, where does that money go? So some of those funds will go obviously to development. Yes. And uh, some of those uh, remittances will go directly into community, community, community impact. Yes. Like uh, they will be remitted directly to the families to look after their health, to do development, like you know their own their own uh, homes yes. and all that. Mm -hmm. And even as those remittances come, we we, we also see there are things like even technology, yes. for example. Yes. So if you look at even the whole idea of the, 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 the big four, so technology is also very key because we are also looking at where we can leverage on the best practices. Yes. Which for me, or for us as a Kenya Diaspora Alliance, this is what also we are telling our membership. Plug in, because right now we are also doing the database to know who has what skills, who, are, who has what, so that we can be able to, 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 to leverage, yes. and also the information. Yes. So as, as far as the big four is concerned, we are also gathering information yes. from the diasporians out there yes. so that we can actually uh, try now to, to, to have that, that information bread now with a with, Blend, agenda with our local agenda for local isn't agenda it? For, yes. right, and I, from when you say at the diaspora <laughs> alliance yes. i want to ask you this question because normally we do know that the our president will actually move the big four agenda but it's exactly what happens locally down here on the ground that's actually going to spur the development of the big four agenda do you think that from where you sit at your alliance diaspora yes. alliance that we are actually we recognize the importance of the diaspora in the big four agenda and where are we in terms of leveraging on the diaspora to build on the big four agenda oh very good let me go to the the homecoming yes. convention for yes. example mm -hmm. this year actually we are looking at the the big four agenda yes and uh, some of the keynote speakers actually we are uh, tapping them from the diaspora yes and uh, it will be a very interactive uh, session whereby also we have the prayers, you know, the, 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 the departments that are directly involved. Yes. So it will be a very good conversation. Yes. So even a forum like that, Arun, it's a, it's a good exchange. It's a good exchange, it's isn't a, it? Of ideas. Yes. It's of a, it's ideas. A, yeah, of ideas. It's and for yes. me, for yes. me, if you look at it now, the agenda for, the big four agenda, the, we are actually, we are actually organizing ourselves. Yes. So, Having this conversation with the diaspora and engaging, this is a very good uh, opportunity so yes. that now we can come, come together yes. and put our minds together and see where else can we, can we actually plug in, plug in and yes. uh, borrow experiences. Yes. Yes. Everybody listening to you will say, wow, interesting. <laughs> Is that from your association? Is that you're actually now pushing for the diaspora to actually come and help us push for the big four agenda? Question is this: I, It's interesting. I was looking at the homecoming convention, for example, and I'm looking at exactly how you're approaching it. You have different speakers from different sectors, different industries as well. The government this time is involved, isn't it? Yes. So we cannot talk about really pushing it if we lack policies. Have we seen policies getting developed around? sort of pushing the diaspora to come in and plug in onto the big four agenda. Because that's the only way we can start saying, well, we're making progress, isn't it? You are very right. You are very right. That's yes. a good observation, Elijah. Yes. Now, in terms of the diaspora policy, that is something which was ruled out, actually, by the government some few, few years back. Yes. So in terms of the recognition, in terms of the contribution, that is already... It, 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 it is already... It is already acknowledge yes so looking at now the diaspora as a sector as it were and then now asking yourself in terms of the big four agenda what is it that this sector can contribute yes you're very right the policies as as they are and even the guidelines that are being prepared 
and the balance scorecard. Yes. Again, all these are things that the diaspora will now come in in puts, and especially trying to also trickle down even at the county levels. Yes. By the way, if you look at some of the counties, actually the key resource, if I take the example of Makweni, yes. most of that key resource is actually from the diaspora. Isn't it? I would be, let me tell you, yes. most likely, that is why we always hear Makweni, the way actually it is performing. In fact, they, they, usually, is, they usually up them when it comes to yes, developing levels. Yes, in it? fact, yes. that is one of the counties that has the Leveraged very high in, in the diaspora. In fact, the resource mm -hmm. there, most of them were recorded from the diaspora. Interesting this yes. way, isn't it? Yes. That even when we talk about it, wait a minute, you know, it's interesting whatever you're saying right now. And I want us to go on exactly the way in which you're involving now the diaspora. How do you get to pull, okay? Yes. All these players in the different areas of the Big Four agenda touches on, and I want to talk therefore on them. Uh, we have recognized from your association, you can say we've recognized their importance. Have they recognized that they actually need to come in also and plug in on the Big Four agenda? Okay, what we, what we have, uh, we have a membership, we have a membership platform, yes, and we dis and disseminate. You know, updates yes. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Where are the opportunities? Where are you required? Okay. And we always keep on getting those responses. So, in the process, also out there, we also have uh, chapters of diaspora yes. in every uh, economy so that this, this, uh, some of these haptics we disseminate and we are able now to tap in who is the best yes. to give us input in this area, yes. who is who dealing with what else. You know, like the, with the value chain in every sector. Yes. And then we are able to get all those resources. Yes. So in terms of really the pool of resources, they are available. They are available. They are available yes. and they are aware. Yes. And then, uh, like I'm saying, all the updates from this side, we disseminate to them. Yes. Because we have the platforms. Yes. yes. When, you, when you speak about the Big Four agenda, we know exactly the areas that it's targeting on. Are you, therefore, looking at the other economies, Okay, and saying that that economy is leading in this area, that economy is leading in this area, and therefore, can't we look for anybody or for the people in that economy who can actually now give us back whatever we need to push for the big four agenda? Or is it well, they're, up, they're actually there outside there, so we would like to think that this is good, so let's just plug into them. Are we also looking at specific economies that are leading in the areas the big four agenda is pushing for? Okay, look at manufacturing, yes. for example. Yes. The way it is structured, and even from the conversation of the president, or what the message the president keeps uh, sending, is that we have to be very deliberate. Because manufacturing has to go with skills. Yes. And it's, very, it's technical. So as, as it were, you have actually to target who has the technical expertise. I see. Things like uh, value addition, yes. for example. Uh, we know that when it comes to our production, we always like taking things out there at the primary level. Yes. So in terms of now wanting to add value, it is we, we now have to tap in what is out there, yes. call even like partnerships, joint ventures, and uh, things like the brew economy. Yes. You know, those are, we have a, a, a lot of opportunities there. So every sector, it has been broken down yes. to very many subsectors where you can actually zero down to a certain expertise so that if you are you are an expert in a certain area, yes. actually you can learn with it. Yes. So so that is how we, we see it. Yes. And as far as the diaspora is concerned, just like the way the government has broken it down, if it is for example affordable housing, you know technology is key. Mm -hmm. Technology is key. Yes. And so many things and the experts are needed. Like now, I'm sure you must have seen recently the launch by Optiben yes. in, the, in, the, in the real estate. Yes. That is a diasporian member. Isn't For example, it? It is, they are doing so much, yes. engaging with the diaspora and also giving them this knowledge and, and all that. So yes. as far as also KDA is concerned or the Kenya Diaspora Alliance, we are in partnership with quite a number of players yes. and even we are interacting with the government directly the principal secretaries, the cabinet secretaries, in all these, in all these sectors. Yes. So we have direct, and even uh, when it comes, like I said, into our forums, we are actually engaging with them directly yes. so that we can exchange. Yes. What is it 
that you can offer. Okay. And we can see the uptick is really, really going up. Interesting this morning, isn't it? And, and I know that um, the Big Four agenda is really something that is getting pushed for heavily by the government. And I want to ask therefore this morning, is what are you what are your targets therefore as an alliance when it comes to the big four agenda is about asking ourselves the question probably that once now the year runs out or once now the government runs out what are your targets under this region therefore of the big four agenda thank you thank you Eraya. Yes. the targets are there yes and uh, actually we, mm -hmm. we we have also come up with our own uh, if i may say so yes. our balance scorecard yes so that when we look at what is needed within every agenda, we also have to have a, we have a roadmap yes. as KDA. Just to say that this roadmap, yes. we want to drive it in a certain way so that we also seek out to engage directly with the, 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 the government and the, the, the uh, you know, as, as those, uh, those areas have been assigned or yes. has been targeted, so that even as we go on, as diaspora, we ask ourselves, what is it that we are achieving? Where are these gaps? Where, is, where are our skills needed? Where do we, you know, all that is there. Yes. As KDA. Yes. Yes. And I would like to, I would like to take it from you that you've actually seen a good response from the diaspora in terms of actually plugging in on the Big Four agenda, isn't it? Yes. And it, it looks good, doesn't it? It does. So when you said it looks good? It does. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Guess what? Yeah. Once we come back again, we shall be having more time, therefore. This is your first time here, and <laughs> we're going to have more time to sit down and talk about this, whatever you're doing as an alliance, and whatever is going to co come out from the convention, that's the homecoming convention, this time around. We're actually looking at it, and we're waiting to see exactly what comes out of it. And then after that, we shall be calling you, therefore, so we can table a conversation around the areas that have been brought up in your homecoming convention this time around, and what you expect to do after this edition of this homecoming edition this time round, isn't it? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I appreciate you. Oh. Welcome anytime. Thank That's you. That's your Raya. door. Okay. That's your door. Thank you. All right. Raya. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank All right. you. Thank you very much. That is what we have for you today on Business Hour. Okay. All right. Come help. Come. On.